We often say in the Bitcoin community that fiat is trash. And I don't think that people understand this because if you're not into Bitcoin and you haven't looked at the history of currency, you're probably still in the world where cash is king. And that's great. In the United States, and I'm going to talk about it from that context, people often don't understand currency devaluation because they've really never been around it. And in the Americas, we have two pretty good examples over the last 20 years of what currency devaluation looks like. And I want to share those with you today. The first one is Argentina. In 2008, I was in Argentina. I lived there for a couple months. And $1 equaled three pesos. This is in 2008. We fast forward to today, 2023. $1 equals more than 300 pesos. You can get them on their blue market, which is essentially their black market for currency. So that's kind of crazy. The other example is Venezuela. And I was recently in... Bogota, Colombia, where there are now, in Colombia in general, there are a lot of Venezuelans who've come over because the currency has been so devalued. You know, you don't want to have to have a wheelbarrow of, of, of bills to go buy bread. So they've come over to Colombia looking for opportunities, as people do. This is the history of human civilization. We move around and we go towards the hardest currencies or the currencies that are going to get us the most and not devalue, or I should say, devalue the slowest. And what I wanted to share with you today is something I bought when I was downtown in Colombia. This is some old Venezuelan currency. You can see it's uh, 100 bol bolivars. And so... This now is no value. And if you're wondering why it's in plastic, if it has no value, it's because it's now artwork. So as a Bitcoiner and someone who's very much into world currencies, I had to buy it. So this is now just water on canvas. The canvas being these hundred bolivars, which no longer have any actual value as currency. They're now just essentially a canvas. So this is why we say fiat is trash, because over a long enough period of time, at least in human history, we've seen all of the fiat currencies essentially go to zero and not work anymore. This is why we talk about Bitcoin. This is why I'm so passionate about Bitcoin on this channel. And I'm going to leave two videos here that talk about Bitcoin in more depth. And also check out the links below. I'm going to leave an article I recently wrote about Bitcoin being digital scarcity. So fiat eventually will turn into a uh, beautiful artwork like this, like this bust of a woman or this, this, you know, figure of a woman here. This is what fiat could go to. I don't think the same will happen to Bitcoin. So check out the links and I will see you next time.